support group leaders in Santa Clarita. Debbie, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you became a support group leader for Alzheimer's Association. Well, I currently lead, co-facilitate a support group with Mary Demkowski, and our support group is over at the Oakmont Assisted Living Facility. Mary started the group many years ago when her mother was diagnosed and she found that she needed some information, so she reached out to the Alzheimer's Association. They trained her, and a couple of years after she had already been doing that, my mom was diagnosed. and. In the process of looking for a support group, I found out that Mary, who I already knew from my church, was leading a group. I joined that group. A little while later, I realized that perhaps Mary could take a break occasionally if I trained, if I got trained to be a support group leader. So I did that. So now the two of us lead a support group. When Mary can't be there, I'm there. That's fantastic. Uh, so Mary can go on vacation. Yep. So tell me, what drives you to keep doing the support groups? Once I started, I realized that they were really incredibly helpful to me. It was just a good, solid place to go once a month, vent everything that I was going through, everything I felt guilty about, everything I was struggling with emotionally. At the beginning, it was a small group. There was only maybe five or six people that showed up, but everybody was in a different stage of the disease. I was sort of in the beginning, um, trying to work through the really difficult issue of not being angry and upset with my mother. As the disease progresses, then I started to feel more things like feel uh, desperation, that there was nothing I could do, and that it is an incurable disease and I would just have to learn to deal with it, and how is it going to help my mom through it. And there were always people there who could just re make me relax, and I knew that I could be who I had to be, and say what I had to say, and nobody was going to think badly of me or judge me. Also, nobody was going to tell anybody my name and what I said. It's kind of like an AA meeting. You go there, you vent, you walk out, and you've done it. You feel better. What stays in the caregiver support group, what is said in there <laughs> stays there. Exactly. What's said in there stays there. That's and that's definitely one of the main um, reasons people like to come to our group because that's one of the first things we say. Please feel free to open up because it's going nowhere. And this is for caregivers only? It's primarily for caregivers, people who are taking care of someone who has Alzheimer's disease, but even if you're not the primary caregiver, if your person is already in an assisted living facility or you've got someone you've hired to stay with them 24-7, you're still considered a caregiver or a primary person in their life, and so we welcome those people too. So any family or family caregiver? Yeah, it is for adults at this point. Right now, someday we'd love to have a, a youth organization, a youth group, but right now we are primarily